Father, in the name of Jesus, come and take the space and make yourself known in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Well, the, the, the title of or the topic of the sermon is Fellowship of the Spirit. Fellowship of the Spirit. The word fellowship also means companionship. It also means participation. It also means um, partnership, communion, or friendliness, or even computing. Uh, it simply means sharing in common. Coming from the Greek word koinonia, koinonia, koinonia. The Oxford Dictionary puts um, defines fellowship as a friendly association, especially with people who share one's interest. Yeah. And now, what about the word spirit? The word spirit with capital S. Uh, I'm talking about the capital spirit, the spirit of God Himself, the spirit of the Creator, the spirit of Yahweh. The Holy Spirit as we commonly know him, or even the Holy Ghost, as according to um, King James Version, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And in Isaiah 61, he, he is called the Spirit of the Lord. A whole lot of places in the scriptures he has different names, but it's the same spirit I'm talking about. Now, Apostle Paul makes us understand in the book of Romans that as we receive Jesus, as we believe in our heart and confess him as Lord and Savior, we are saved. And if we are saved, it means we are born again, according to what Jesus told Nicodemus. And um, according to his epistle, I'm talking of Apostle Paul, to the Corinthian church, he made us understand that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, which means that every believer, every Christian, has the Holy Spirit living in the inside of them, in their spirits. But um, why is it that we are not fruitful, our fruitfulness are not the same? Why is it that the anointing is not the same? The grace we enjoy isn't the same. Our faith level, our spiritual maturity level isn't the same. There is a missing link. That is what I want to discuss briefly. The fellowship of the Spirit. Talking about the friendliness of the Spirit. We may all be children of our parents, but you realize, even in the case of um, um, Joseph, Joseph was closer to the heart of the father. Joseph was closer to Jacob. He was friendly. He was more associated. That is the same with our Christian work today. Some of us are closely associated with God than the others. That is why we see different manifestations of the Spirit. Talking of the different levels, not the diversity. I hope you get the difference. Yeah. I want, to, I want us to read from the book of Judges, chapter 16. The popular story of Samson and Delilah. It shares some good thoughts about this subject I'm talking about. For the sake of time, I will skip verses and go straight forward to verse 16. And it comes to pass when she, talking of Delilah, when she, when Delilah pressed Samson daily, the underlined word here is daily, daily with her words, and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, something happened. Let's jump to verse 19. And she, um, she made him sleep. Okay, before that, Samson told her all his heart. Now, listen, um, Delilah was bribed, let me say that, to bring Samson's downfall. And the only way they knew they could do that was to dissociate him from his God, his spiritual source, because they did all sort of things against him and it couldn't work. So now Delilah had to find out the secret of his strength. And Samson, no matter how many times Delilah tried, if you really look at the scripture closely, you realize it's, it's even more than three times. But Samson refuted always. But listen, according to verse 16, it came to pass when Delilah pressed him daily. I'm reading from King James Version. When it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart. Samson now told Delilah all his heart. Why? Because Delilah pressed Samson daily. There is a secret in the word daily. It's anything you do continuously, you give it more power. 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 So now, instead of Samson listening to God daily to increase his strength, according to the scriptures, them that appear in Zion increase from strength to strength. Now Samson listened to Delilah daily 
and the hand of Delilah increased upon Samson to the extent that Samson gave in to Delilah's suggestion. I don't know who you are listening to. Man of God, if you shall flourish in ministry, you will need to be with God constantly. You need to be with God daily. A believer, if you shall be prosperous, you will need to be with God continuously, daily.